Hi, Josh here. This is a quick video demonstrating a new feature in the Modius control law that can be used for pure velocity control and some other interesting set point effects. The Modius controller implements a two-stage control system. The inner loop selects PWM values to achieve a given current or torque. The outer loop is a combined position velocity feed forward torque controller that selects a torque given a constant velocity trajectory. The position, the proportional term, and velocity, derivative term gains, can be adjusted with each command. This formulation lets the controller approximate arbitrary trajectories in a piecewise linear fashion, as well as operate purely in torque or velocity mode. However, it did come with a downside compared to a more traditional three-stage controller, in that there was no way to formulate a velocity controller with a bounded integrative term. When operating modus in velocity mode, the position gain is equivalent to the velocity integrator in a three-stage system. However, such an integrator would typically have a maximum bound so as to prevent windup. Without a similar construct, Modius will attempt to catch up if an external force exceeds the controller's ability to maintain velocity for a period of time. This isn't usually desirable. With firmware release 2021-0305, Modius now supports a max position slip parameter, which acts as an anti-windup term on the position control loop. So let's switch over to a TView instance. We'll start by configuring the position limits to be unbounded, which will make it easier to demonstrate all of these new features. Next, we'll go and plot the current unroute position and command a constant velocity trajectory that will continue indefinitely. Now we can hold back the motor up to the maximum torque. Then when we release, we'll observe that it catches up back to where the uh, path it was following before. And the catching up happens at the maximum speed that it can achieve. Now we'll switch over to the config pane and set the new max position slip parameter. When that is set, we'll start up the indefinite velocity control again and try holding back the position as before. Now when we let go, we see that it doesn't continue back on the old trajectory, but merely recovers the amount of slip we have configured before resuming. Now we'll try going to the configure pane and decreasing the value of the maximum slip. Since the maximum slip is an integrator limit, that means the total magnitude of the force that can be applied will be less, but it also means that the amount of recovery will be less as well. And we can see that here, that it really has no catch up at all. Now we'll try another demonstration where we set the max slip a tiny bit higher and command a zero speed trajectory. In this mode, the controller will hold its current position as long as the force does not exceed that which could be achieved with the windup. However, once you exceed that force, the control position will change, which allows the user to drag the set point around. This can be used for a variety of haptic effects. That's it. Thanks for watching.